Gentlemen, welcome back to the MLG Pro League Season 3 coverage. Thanks for tuning in with us throughout the whole night. We had some connection issues earlier on. Hopefully this series goes pretty smooth. We just saw Elevate take down Optic Nation 3-0. TJ, the new pickup on that squad, looking very strong. I'm joined by Mr. X via Skype. Matt, Yes. final series of the night, Envy versus Orbit. I just filled you in. So, Orbit yeah, did horribly what? at uh, UFC you Dallas. Filled me, you filled me in a little bit, Jack. Yeah. For everybody at home who didn't have the opportunity to watch MG all weekend, what happened with the Orbit? Well, they had to play through the open bracket, and they wound up getting, I believe, like close to the championship bracket and then just falling short. They didn't even make the championship bracket. I believe they finished top 32. More than a frustrating weekend, to say the least, from them. I got to see Burns at the at the event. He just said, man, this is just one he, they, they want to forget about and move on. I know Facento is frustrated that he goes from getting second place at champs to now placing top 32 at a UMG. Don't know if there's going to be team changes with the squad or if they're going to keep pushing through. What went oh. wrong with them? I mean, I didn't even get to see him because they went through the open bracket and then just lost. Ah, uh, true, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't even like there was a pool play team who went 0-4 and, and then went terribly in the bracket. It, they just didn't even make it to the bracket. <laughs> Tough stuff for them. That's shocking. Yeah, and I mean, you look at the squad, so much talent. Especially with these guys like Accuracy and Happy showing up big so far in AW. And then Burns, who's been a solid player all year long, had a ha has had a fantastic couple of events. And then finally, Vicento. I mean, it looks like a squad that you think would make it all the way, but unfortunately for them, just didn't do it right now at the start of this game. Pretty even. This Envy squad, my issues for me this past weekend for them, yeah. J-Cap, really not doing well in the respawn game modes. I think it mainly came down to he was inconsistent, to say the least. I think that I was talking to Tasmo from uh, Envy Management. He was just saying, if we can become more consistent in the respawns, and if we can just start clutching up really in the, in the crucial moments, like he, he always says the Envy team is just like the heart the heart-wrenching squad because it's either always a game five or always a round 11 or just always these moments that they should either win and they lose it and then it's like it forces an extra game or an extra round or it's these moments that they should lose and they somehow pull out a win and your heart's just beating and going crazy and I mean at times I would go up to him and he, he was just like he would see the size of relief in, in the crowd from the Envy fans time and time again when they should have taken it with ease. Yeah, and I think uh, Envy, they had a pretty good weekend. Who is the standout team for you at UMG? Like, the most shocking performance uh, for you? Mine really was Epsilon. Uh, how much they stepped uh, up. Royalty yeah. doing big things. Remy as well with that squad. And then Swanee. I, I mean, you got to root for him because he's just such a great, great human being. But really, prior to the weekend, he said it so perfectly. He said our communication online is just, it's nothing compared to on land. He said, I... I perform so much better when all the pressure's on me. He said when he's playing in the pro league, he just doesn't get that same feeling. And because of that, his performance has been lackluster with the rest of his squad. I mean, that's still no excuse. I mean, the pro league oh, is so. Uh, oh no, I'm not. I'm, I'm just saying what he what he told me basically. Right. Yeah. I mean, Epsilon, they're I believe what 0 and 5 at this moment in 0 and time. 0 5, dead last. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be difficult for them to come back from that. I'd like to see him do it. Uh, TCM had a very good weekend as well. To yeah. line up, I don't think anyone expected much out of either. Well, the, if I'm not mistaken, they took down Enigma 6 Saturday night really late, 3-1. to one, And that was their big thing that really boosted them into Sunday's play. And then what would they want to finish? In top, they, they finished fifth, beating I believe so. Envy in the Constellation match. So, strong stuff from them. But then again, it's, it's Patrick Price. Like I, I mean, I was talking to T prior to the weekend starting. He said, if Moose can just slay, if Jerk keeps playing like a madman, and then Aegis just performs against the teams that he typically performs against, like FaZe and Optic Gaming, then they're going to be in a good spot, and they did just that. Yeah, and I bet you you'll be seeing them probably at the Gfinity event. Oh, I think uh, TCM probably will be there. But talk a little bit about this game. It's Orbit getting out to a huge lead. Right now, Jcap struggling here on the respawn game modes. You know, was 9 and 12 now, 10 and 12 on a little bit of a streak, just trying to stay inside of that hard point. But... Outside of him, you know, what really went wrong for this Envy squad? As you know, they are falling behind Orbit, who Orbit, I mean, by every stretch of the imagination, did not look good at UMG. I mean, to make, yeah. not make it out of open is shocking. Yeah, the big thing for me was that, or right now in this game, is that Orbit's doing a much better job of breaking the hill and getting crucial kills inside of it, while Envy's kills at the moment are just kind of like, meh, like middle map kills, like right there. Like, all right, nice, nice kill from Looney. 
but it was outside the it was out the outside the hill. Burns killed him as he's about to break it. A much bigger kill from Burns right there. As the rest of the uh, orbit squad just keeps spawning up, they have three players alive inside the hard point. They're up by 80 seconds at the moment, and this is Envy's host. Which is huge. I mean, usually we see teams win the respawn game modes on their own host. So this would be a huge steal for Orbit if they're able to win it. But this game definitely not over. Looney on a four streak. You know, was sitting at 500. Now he's going to get dropped. This one's just going to be contested. But you no, know, you can still make a comeback. It would not shock me, Jack. Oh, 100%. With still five minutes left in this game, they can absolutely do it. Right now, the full rotation, the bottom circle hard point is set up by Orbit. The free fire coming out of Aqua. He takes down Pacento. Let's see if he's going to play aggressive for the break or just kind of try to wait for his teammates. Looks like he's going to flood through ice right here. Pops to Septex. It's actually sticks the player. That's accuracy he winds up falling. Beautifully done by Aqua. A flawless break from Envy. And Envy, this is where you start to see them heat up. Aqua on a streak. So is Octane and Looney. Those three guys definitely going to be your main slayers in respawn game modes, and then you're gonna need Jcap just to fill in the spots, and Jcap, one of the hardest players on himself, you know, holds himself to such a high standard, which he should, you know, one of the greatest players in Call of Duty history. If he starts to play like himself, this Envy squad is definitely gonna come back in this game, and even if he doesn't come back, Jack, this Envy squad definitely has the firepower to make this a game with Orbit. Absolutely, they've cut the lead in half now, was 80 seconds, now just 40. These last 15 seconds of scrap time are actually absolutely crucial, though. The break coming out of orbit, they're able to pick up two kills. The final push from Jcap coming in gets beaten down by Happy. There's still the one Envy player alive in the hill that's going to be Aqua with the nice kill. The final few seconds going to Envy. The rotation as well in oh, favor of the boys in blue. That, that's what's even bigger. Envy wins the rotation battle. Looney and Octane were able to pick up kills there. Looney just trying to stay alive in and around the hill. He's going to get cut down. Aqua's gonna jump in. He's gonna have a player directly behind him. Gonna put shots in accuracy. Aqua just trying to stay alive in the hill. Doing a great job as Octane and Jcap flooding through the back. Envy starting to mount a huge comeback here, Jack. Octane doing what he does best. 28 and 20 right now. I believe he has one of the highest KDs in all of the league and for his team. Winning the gunfight there with the sub. Doing it everything for his squad on a five streak, 30 and 20, spinning oh around, picks up three. Dude. Octane is absolutely destroying. Envy was down by 80 seconds the last time they were on this hill. Now down by just five. They're actually going to take the lead. And Octane's a huge reason of that, Jack. 31 and 20 on a six streak. If Orbit was to lose this one, this would be a heartbreaker. I mean, they did not have a great weekend, like you said. Now coming into their first Pro League match after that, they're really... You know, defeating weekend that they had, you know, they get off to a great start and now blow the lead. They need to be able to hold blue. If yeah. Envy's able to break this one, I expect them to run away with this one. Orbit had all the time in the world to get their perfect setup. Here comes the push from Envy. Two players flanking from the backside, one coming from the front door. Octane's just gonna get on top blue. He's got one player in the corner to beat. Beautiful movement there out of Vicento to take down Looney. Great hold so far for Orbit. They still have three players in the hill. Another wave of pushing from Envy, though, on the way. And it's good to see Happy playing like his old self. 33 and 26. At the beginning of Advanced Warfare, was one of the best players in the game. Then started to trail off a little bit. Definitely starting to come into his own with this Orbit team. Vicento picking up two big kills in the hill. Happy's going to flood in there. Try and hold it down for Orbit as they're mounting that lead yet again. See, it's going to be Octane flooding in for Envy. He's able to pick up one, oh gets a second. So it looks like Envy trying to take the oh rest of this garbage time. And he is actually destroying players in there. Green Platt, going to be Envy's at the start. Down by about you know, uh, 40 seconds, so to speak. A little bit less than 40 seconds. They're going to have control of this hill at the start. Going to be down 32 seconds to be exact. And if Envy can get this to within a 10 to 15 point game, Jack, going into that final hill, they definitely can make this a comeback. Absolutely. 30 seconds separating these two teams. Aqua wins a gunfight there on the green catwalk area. Now challenging the hard point. A big kill coming from Octane, but he actually team kills Looney. Aqua winning a gunfight though up against Vicento, and he almost just turns on accuracy. 26 seconds separating these two teams. Looney wins a, loses a massive gunfight though up against Orbit. They have three players in the hill. Matt, that might have just secured him the game one victory. Yeah, that was some huge kills right there out of Burns and Happy. That might have done it, Jack. Like you said, it's going to be 40 plus second lead, 45 oh, yeah. second lead right now. And Happy absolutely crushing for Orbit. 42 and 28 on a fine streak, eight caps to his name, really guiding them to this first map victory if they're able to hold on.
crazy game out of orbit. They went up an 80 second lead, then they let Envy back into the game. They actually gave Envy the lead, but a beautiful hold on the blue hard point, a beautiful hold on the top green hard point. They're able to take this one. They're up by 40 seconds. It's now mathematically impossible for Envy to come back. And Matt, in your opinion, what was going wrong for Envy in the series? Did they just dig themselves in too big of a hole? Yeah, they just came alive too late, Jack. I mean, if they play that second half like they did, you know, if they play the first half like they did second half, sorry, you know, they definitely would have been able to make this a uh, pretty commanding victory for themselves. But Orbit able to hold on some great game out of happy, uh, almost near that 50 bomb. I mean, 46 and 32, just a great game out of him. Nobody else finishes near positive for Orbit, but just a great team effort. On the other side of things, Octane, 45 and 28, a big game from him. Unfortunately, it's too little too late as Envy drops game number one, 212 to 199. Yeah, just fantastic play out of Orbit, Jack. I mean, your Envy going into the SND, going to need everybody to really pick it up if they're going to be able to take that one. Octane had zero captures, but you he had 12 that? defends. Pretty crazy stat line there in game number one as Envy winds up dropping that one, 212 to 199. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere when we come back. Game number two.